Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool. And after yesterday's rodeo with these uh, micro snips from Knipex, uh, I thought I would try a different tact at, at reviewing some tools that are brand new to me um, and often outside my wheelhouse. And the way I'd like to do it is uh, kind of more of a crowdsourced review. So I'm gonna show you these um, and show you the operation, a little bit of them, um, and make some observations, some point out some things. And I'd like you to share your review or experience or thoughts in the comments um, because there are several aspects to these that I think are worthy of discussion. So let's start with you. Let's see what you think. Uh, so what do we have here? We have got the uh, VHA um, insulated adjustable water pump pliers. These uh, are insulated to 1,000 volts. That's their rating, but they are tested to 10,000 volts. So take that as, as uh, you'd like. Um, they have a cushion grip handle, 10 locking positions, um, extra narrow head, finger jam protection, uh, so you can't slam them closed. Um, and each tool is individually tested to 10,000 volts, rated to 1,000, 1,500 DC. Um, and it shows it, this is kind of important, I think, uh, opening or working on a uh, junction or a box, electrical box, uh, with a conduit coupler right there. Um, those are usually fairly large, uh, maybe in whatever that is, inch and a half maybe. Um, and a couple other things uh, down at the bottom here. Um, made, it's Weha Germany, Weha Germany, manufactured in Vietnam, um, imported to the USA, and the tool number is the 32956. Um, so let's take a look at it. Here it is. It's about 10 inches long. Very similar in uh, design to a lot of others. Uh, of course, I'm going to show you comparison directly to kind of the Kleenex of the water pump pliers right here. Um, so this is in its full close or shortest, smallest position there. This is in its largest position right there. So you can see the difference in holding it. Uses a rivet here instead of a screw, like, or a fastener of some sort, like you see there. Um, we're on the Milwaukee here. Uh, it's a Phillips, it looks like, um, that allows um, easy access and replacement of this. Knipex does sell a kit to swap out that button should something happen to it. I've only broken one in my life. Um, anyway, a little bit of a different shape here. You can see if I line them up grip to grip, you can see an angle difference um, and kind of a trapezoid difference up here. If we compare it to the Milwaukee's, Looks like the trapezoid um, It's quite a bit different there. Uh, if I compare it to an older Knipex, you can see the indexing here. If I go just down one click right there versus one click here, you kind of see that difference. Let's grab something. Um, I'm one click down. You can grab a, I'll do it on this, whoops, on this head of the bolt. One click down. Try to seat that in there. That's the hand or the grip width right there. If I open it up one more click. Um, you can see there's still a little bit of room there. So I've got a firm grip on it. Um, a moment about the button. You can see that it's almost flush. So you have to push it down into the hole there versus sticking out. So you can see the profile on this and on the Milwaukee. So there are those. So, um, if I go out to a little bit larger bolt, 
right here. Okay, you can see it's seated fairly well. The handles are hitting here enough that I can, even when I squeeze hard, I can still roll this. If I go one shorter, I can grab it. That's what it looks like in the grabbing. Uh, handles are fairly wide. Um, and if I went one larger, this just falls right through it. Let's go to a larger bolt there. Uh, notice that. These are all the way down. And the nut slides right through it. No problem. Let me go one shorter or one smaller. Now I can grab that nut. That's how it seats in there. A little bit different. That's the handle width. Uh, if I take that out and go to the Cobra, I've got it there. I'm not hitting the stop plate there. Um, so you can see kind of a comparison in the the handle width at minimum and maximum. And then if I go larger, a little smaller there. That's where it slides through. One less right there. You can see a little tighter. I can keep going smaller still grab it open it up so I do have some choice there if we go to a larger one this seems to be um, a very good fit this particular size right there good spacing and then you can see that the teeth are grabbing this fairly well if I go one more larger that slides right through, go back to where I was, go one more smaller. Now I've got a fairly large grip, two-fister there. Uh, anyway, you can see the head profile compared to the Knipex. So the beaks are about the same in terms of the width. Um, but then this shrinks to a little bit narrower head. Overall, the height, you can see it's pretty close. Let's look at the handles on the, this Cobra, what it would be like. You can grab it there. Full open. Um, grab it down here full open, so there's a bit of a difference there in the way you grab it, and then full closed. You can grab these. You can see, so uh, these kind of safety stops for your hands do adjust the grip somewhat, you can see. Um, forged in there. Two fifty it says, same as the Cobras. Anyway, so there you have it. These Weha adjustable insulated adjustable water pump pliers. Let me know what you think. And with that, dock out.